Matilda had always wanted to go to school because she loved to learn. She tried to imagine what her new school would be like. Go ahead. She pictured a lovely building surrounded by trees and flowers and swings. Well, there was a building and children. So regardless of what Crunchum Hall looked like, she was happy to be there. After all, any school is better than no school at all, isn't it? You're too small. Grow up quicker. Heads up, shoulders back, stomachs in. Stand up straight. Hey, sorry. Attention for you. That's okay. It's much better than being out there. Is that my teacher? No, that's the principal, Miss Trunchbull. You've got to be kidding. Uh uh. You squirts better skedaddle. I'm not kidding. The Trunchbull likes to snap a whip in there to see who's trying to hide. Stop again! Change those socks. Too pink. I'm Matilda. Lavender. I'm Hortensia. Hi. Hi. She doesn't really hit children with that Ryland croc, does she? No. It's mostly for scare. What she does is worse. Like yesterday, in the second grade, the Trunchbull makes a weekly visit to every classroom to show the teachers a thing or two about handling kids. And Julius Rautwinkel ate two M&M's during her lesson. And she caught him? Of course. <laughs> was Julius OK? After being thrown out the window? Of course he wasn't OK. He lived, if that's what you mean. No. The trunch boys used to be in the Olympics. Shot put, javelin, hammer throw. The hammer throw's her specialty. So she does this all the time? Better than being put in the chokey. Chokey? Yeah, the chokey. It's a tall, narrow hole in a wall behind a door. You have to stand in a drippy pipe with jagged edges, and the walls are broken glass and nails sticking Get out. Inside, you festering ball of ass! She puts kids in there? I've been in twice. Sometimes she leaves you in there all day. But didn't you tell your parents? They didn't believe me. I mean, would your parents believe it? 60 lines after school. I must obey Miss Trunchbull. No. Out of my way. Here she comes. <laughs> 